the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied. For this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go, make a careful search for the child, and as soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. When they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, or Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So he got up, took the child and his mother during the night, and left for Egypt, where he stayed until the death of Herod. And so was fulfilled what the Lord had said through the prophet. Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been outwitted by the Magi, he was furious. And he gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity who were two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had learned from the Magi. Then what was said through the prophet Jeremiah was fulfilled. A voice is heard in rain, weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children and refusing to be comforted, because they are no more. After Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel. For those who were trying to take the child's life are dead. So he got up, took the child and his mother, and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was reigning in Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. Having been warned in a dream, he withdrew to the district of Galilee, and he went and lived in a town called Nazareth. So was fulfilled what was said through the prophets, he will be called a Nazarene. Amen. Amen. Hey, but I'm excited. I got a new project I want to try out. Get for encouragement, for growth, and edification for all of us. Those who profess themselves to be Christians is to less read the entire Bible. One chapter at a time for the New Testament, one chapter at a time for the Old Testament, use the New Testament in the morning, and at uh, nighttime, use the Old Testament. And incorporate it as part of your prayer, meaning it just becomes a routine thing with your prayer life. So, what I'm going to do is by being an example, is actually go ahead and do that as well. Use them on YouTube. I recommend you do uh, subscribe so you can be notified when the chapter that you need to read comes up and you can go and keep up with it. Subscribe to the channel, you go to the channel and catch up with the ones that you may have missed. But let's just get it one day at a time, you know? And what I like to do is I'm excited, I think it's the government because we really do need to read the Bible 
for ourselves. Everybody that. And I encourage many of you to do that. The reason I'm doing this is because, like I say, it's titled How to Read the Entire Bible, Read It One Day at a Time, with your morning even prayer, and use an audio book to help you read and pronounce some of those words. Especially when you get into the Old Testament, I'm telling you something else. But also look at this right here. I put down the survey that was done. It was called How Much, it's called LifeWay Research Did It. How much the Bible have you personally read? And you can see 10% none, 13% only a few sentences, 30% several passages or stories, 50% at least half of it, 12% almost all of it, 11% uh, all of it, and 9% all of it more than once. And the reason I don't want you just to read the Bible, I want you to give it, meditate on it, and get that in your heart and your spirit and get revelation that God gives you. So that's why the intent is for you to read these scriptures because you guarantee you, you will grow in the things of God. And then you'll have to depend on other people to tell you something. And then when you go to church service, when the man said, Let's turn to such and such chapter. You can sit and say, I did that. I read that chapter. And, and then you get some more comments on that. So you start to understand what the man is trying to teach. But you keep it in content of those scriptures as they come in. Amen. Hey, I, I think you'll love it. I think I know you'll love it. I know you'll enjoy it because we got to change that stat that we just read. All right. So get ready. Go to the chapter that's up for the day. And don't forget to subscribe, and I guarantee you, we have be able to knock out the New Testament, uh, I think in about seven months. Listen, it's worth it, so you can get to know your Bible and know who you are. Because what the scripture says who you are is more important than what people say that you are. Amen? God bless you. I'll see you and see you. Bye-bye. Look at this right here. This is the Lord's Prayer. This is what Christ taught his disciples, which means that this is something that was for all believers to use. It's just a matter, you don't have to use this verbatim, but it's just something you want to do. You see in Matthew chapter 6, verse 9, after this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, which is this word, which is what we're reading, will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day, meaning the daily prayer. That's why I encourage you to read the Bible daily as well as pray daily. Uh, our daily bread, and the daily bread, once again, is the Word of God. I mean, you talking about local bread, we're talking about the Word of God. And forgive us our debts, we give our debt to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory for every man. For if you give men their trespasses, your heavenly Father also forgive you. This is a reminder of Christ's intent. It is important for you to forgive others, for your Father in heaven will forgive you. But if you forgive men not their trespasses, neither will your Father give your trespasses. So you want to remind yourself daily to forgive those who have offended you. Amen? And just remember 1 Timothy 2, 4, who would have all men to be saved and come to, to the knowledge of the truth. Once again, the knowledge of the truth is the word of God. You don't want it. it. It is no other truth given if you don't have the word of God with you. That's why you want to read it daily. That's why I encourage you to do this, to read the entire Bible over and over again. Romans 14, 12 says, And so then every one of us shall begin account of himself to God. And God is going to hold you accountable for understanding his word. He's not going to sit there and say, Well, you pass it and tell you I got it. No. He's going to sit there and say, I told you to study. I told you to read the word. Amen. So that's what we do that. So, but the main thing is we can do this. We can read the Bible, the entire Bible, especially the entire New Testament, uh, one day at a time, one chapter at a time. And I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget, you, I do recommend pray daily too, just like Christ taught us to pray. Pray daily and pray His will, pray His word. That's what. It is. Therefore, when you ask for things, you should line them with His word. And he wants you to love one another. God bless. I'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe. If you subscribe, every time we bring a chapter out, you'll be notified. Can you go ahead and read that, do that reading for yourself? Amen? All right. God bless you. I'll see you when I see you. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be 
glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.